Уважаемые участники саммита, приветствую вас из города-героя Харькова. Прежде всего хочу поблагодарить организаторов и лично лорда Нормана Фостера за возможность выступить на столь масштабном и представительском мероприятии. Last April I was approached by the mayor of Kharkiv for help. And the mayor shared his vision for uh, a master plan that would be about not just regeneration, not just building back the city as it was, but using it as an opportunity to improve the quality of the city. There have been 80 working sessions, 800 people, questionnaires, more than 16,000 people have responded to those questionnaires. Here is one working session, you'll see that the United Nations are there, foundation members, representatives of the Kharkiv architects, coming together face to face as well as more remotely. And the differences that bring the foundation together with the amazing work of the City Lab here is the technology, the foresight, to be able to use tools to explore some of these ideas and to quantify their effects socially, environmentally and economically. Good afternoon, professors and everyone. Thanks for having me. It is important to underline that science, technology, innovation and education will be the key pillars from a forward-looking Kharkiv. In this situation, a new urban typology addressing these deficiencies is proposed. The creation of a science neighborhood. Hello. Today I have the opportunity to bring you one of the projects we are working at, the Kharkiv Master Plan, and specifically the pilot project of the science neighborhood. It all started with this request from the mayor of Kharkiv when he asked for, within the master plan, create a new and modern a space for business and science center for a forward-looking city. And we have the help and support from the MIT team that they are building this interactive tool that will give us data and we'll be able to create data-driven solutions so we will have scientifically informed decisions in order to optimize the design process and come back to the city of Kharkiv and saying this is the best science neighborhood that we can provide. This image of St. Paul's amidst the rubble was a symbol of hope, architectural beauty, maybe even a little faith, amidst the inhumanity of World War II. For me, the universities of Kharkiv, standing similarly among the rubble, are similar symbols of reason, of knowledge, and of hope in, amidst the inhumanity today. All our citizens, every day, asking the mayor whether the foundation is helping, whether they are with us, because for them, the planning of the future in this nightmare that Ukraine now has is very, very important. It's extremely important, this support. Make no little plans, make big plans. Because a noble logical diagram will never die, will live forever. Let your watchword be order and your beacon beauty.